God damn. <laughs> oh. Yeah. It's perfect. It's perfect. It's crazy as fuck. Oh my god. Let me it's see. <laughs> What's up, guys? Lee McKinney here. Um, today I want to do a video on my guitar. Um, this is my signature Kiesel LM7X model guitar. It comes in seven and six string option. This one is the seven. Um, and this one's extra special to me. Um, when developing the guitar, I was working with a Monster Burst, uh, a similar model, Monster Burst. That's what this finish is called. It's a gorgeous purple. It fades out to a light blue. Um, it's inspired by um, Sully, the monster from Monsters, Inc., the movie. And I have been calling the guitar Sully for that reason. I think it's the first guitar I've ever put a name on. There's something special about it. I have four probably LM uh, guitars, LMX guitars. This is probably the fourth one I got, something about it. I don't know. It's gorgeous looking, but it just sounds amazing. I've been taking it everywhere. And I'm, uh, this is it. This is my guitar. It's perfect. So let's dive into it a little bit. Um, this is going to be a swamp ash body. It's chambered. Um, tonally, I liked that. I uh, was going for a real spanky uh, sounding guitar. I wanted to hear the relationship between the string as it hit the fret and the board. I wanted you to hear the guitar and all the elements that make it what it is. For that reason, we did a bolt-on construction. Uh, I believe it just gives it a spanky, poppier sound. Uh, that I really like. Um, usually on these guitars you're going to get an Eastern Hard Rock Maple Neck Standard. Um, but as you can see, you can get really creative here. You can do three, five, seven piece necks. Whatever you can come up with, Kiesel can do for you. That's the beauty behind this company. One of many. Um, so that's one difference on this one that, uh, is, that we did for me. Um, but you could do the same thing for you. You could order the same guitar exactly how it is in my hands on the Kiesel website. Um, fingerboard. What we have here is a flamed, a baked flamed maple fingerboard. Um, again, you can do this on their website. The guitar standard is going to come with an ebony uh, fingerboard. Um, jumbo frets. This one in particular has my initials LM. This is my signature inlay. Um, you do not have to get that. Um, it's optional. I get it if you don't want uh, someone's initials on your guitar. No problem there. Um, as far as pickups go, this is my signature bridge pickup called the Illusionist. And furthermore, I've been talking about um, the spanky, slappy sounding guitar. And we took it one step farther by making this pickup and putting it in this guitar. Um, it just makes this thing sound really alive, really true, honest. Um, you just hear every aspect that is this guitar. I swear you hear the neck, the fingerboard, the frets, the strings, you hear it all. It's beautiful. It's a really hi-fi pickup. Um, and the neck pickup is a lithium. Um, that's a, a pickup Kiesel's had for a while. Um, they've been stepping their pickup game uh, for a long time. They've been stepping it up. Um, when making a guitar, I was talking to many other companies I will not name. Um, and ultimately, in the end, I just I decided to keep it with the family, keep it in Kiesel, and I'm very happy with that decision. Um, you'll hear these on New Born of Osiris. You'll hear it on my upcoming solo album. Um, these things sound gorgeous. For the bridge here, we have the custom Kiesel Hip Shot bridge. Um, this has piezo saddles. Um, so for this time we did one input. The last guitar I did we had two. That was so you could send to two different amps. I didn't do it once. So the, I want to make a guitar with options and I continue to do so with this, but I just don't want to throw unnecessary things in the guitar that don't need to be there if they're not going to be used. For that reason I also ditched the tone knob. Um, I found I had it slammed all the time and if I want to make my tone darker I choose to do it in my recording session with EQ or other options. So what you see here is two volume knobs. One is the volume of the pickups, the other is the volume of the piezo. This is a five-way switch. Um, for my solo album, I did a lot of strat tones with this guitar. For that, I did the fourth position, which split the neck pickup. You can get really juicy, gorgeous strat tones out of this guitar. You can get mini tones out of this guitar. Um, and that's going to allow you to do this, uh, and you can do this with this switch here. This is the piezo switch. So that's going to activate just the acoustic sounding piezo saddles. Um, in the middle, you can use both. And what makes this cool is you can use your pickups, now you're blended to sound acoustic, and then furthermore you can switch to all these different options. So the, the tonal ability straight out of the box on this guitar is insane. It's not a metal guitar. You can do heavy extreme metal, you can do jazz, you can make it sound like a Strat, you can make it sound like an acoustic guitar. This guitar can do anything. Um, and there's just tons of options. Forward you're going to be 
pointed at the pickups, pickups, center, blend, pointed at the input is the piezo. Alright, some fine details here, 25 and a half inch scale, you got 20 for the radius of the fingerboard. The guitars are light, they're coming in between 5 and 6 pounds, it's amazing. It just feels weightless at times, but you're not sacrificing tone. I used to think that you wanted a big heavy Les Paul to have a big tone, and it's just not the case. Um, some of these guitars, there's a 6 string version I used on Born of Osiris' new album. It's the biggest sounding guitar I have, and I have full on heavy headstock guitars. This simply doesn't matter. I don't know what the science behind it is. I don't get into it. All I know is if the guitar sounds good and it sounds bigger, I'm going to use it. And that's one thing I've been noticing about these guitars. Um, you don't need a ton of extra shit and weight to make it sound heavier. These things sound monsters. You're going to have staggered offset dots. Uh, they're going to be here up to the 12th and down here to the 24th. It's not just for look. I notice that when I'm playing here, this is I like the dots on the top half, and when I get down here, I like the dots being down here. It all makes sense. It's not just for look. It does look cool, but it's practical, and it serves a purpose. Cool, so that's it. I'm going to probably take it outside and get some uh, picture or video in the sun. Um, these, uh, the flame monster burst really comes alive in the light, uh, especially sunlight, natural light. These things just come to life. So I'm going to get some pictures, some video. Um, I'll preview some of my solo music coming up right now so you can hear the pickup, you can hear this guitar. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching the video and I'll catch you guys on the next one.